Hello, this is a video on how to access Cite Them Right online tutorial for Harvard referencing for ARU staff and students. So the first thing I've done is Google Cite Them Right and it's the top entry here. You might want to go via the library website instead. Once you're on the platform, you need to log in. And to log in, you need to do this via your institution. So at this point, I need to search for Anglia Ruskin. Here you'll be taken to your usual login screen and you need to log in with your usual username and password. Details are given at the top here. So once you're on the site, the right platform and you're logged in, you can see it says it's provided um, access from Anglia Ruskin University here you need to select your referencing style. So I'm going to click on here and then I'm going to select Harvard. So here's the Harvard details to how to reference all different types of material. So we've got books, we've got journals, digital and internet media and arts, and you can browse through these to find what you're looking for. Under the book section, you can see it's further broken down into um, different types of books as well. So you can have a look at any of these categories. I'm just going to look at the simplest category for this demonstration and I'm going to go to printed books. And on the page that tells you how to reference each type of material, it will give you a citation order. So this is the order for your full reference that the details need to be in. So we can see we've got author, year of publication, title, edition, place of publication, etc. And then below that, it will give you all the different examples. So we've got an example of a book with one author. But if we scroll down, we've got books with two or three authors, books with four or more authors, books with editors, etc. If I go back to this simple reference of a book with one author, you can also see for each of the examples, it gives you an in-text citation example, which is really nice. So this goes in the body of your essay. And then it gives you a full reference list example. So we can see here there's the full details that would be needed in your reference list if you cited cultural here. So the other really nice thing it does, it gives you a box where you can construct your own reference. So it will give you all the elements that you need for a full reference. And then you can overwrite each of these with the detail from the book that you're using. Once you have your reference, you can then copy that and paste that into a Word document. So you can choose your referencing style and then browse through the categories of materials you want to reference, or you could do a search. So if you wanted to reference a computer game, for example, you can search for computer games and an example will come up. If you haven't already chosen your style, you'll need to filter again for Harvard. So here again, we can see for computer games, we've got the citation order, we've got the in-text example and what it should look like in the full reference list. And again, we've got the box where we can construct our own reference. So if you were referencing a lot of computer games and you wanted to create a shortcut to get back to the information about this, you can save records. You just need to go to the bottom here and sign up to create a personal account. So there's also lots of help on the Cite Them Right website. If I scroll down here, you can see that there's a full tutorial that you can launch. And there's also the basics of referencing to give you an overview. You can also search for help on the Cite Them Right website. So for example, I might want to know how to do a secondary citation and then it will give me a list of results that will help with my query. So that's a quick overview of the Cite Them Right website. If you do have any queries please get in touch with the library or your subject librarian.